upper left-hand part of your screen. When those lights go off, we're going racing. Race number one from Road America, and Dominic Doyle with a great launch. Just Rodeo as well from just there on the second row. You can see he's got a good jump. He's right in the back of Dominic Doyle right now. He's peeking out to have a look at some things as they go down into turn one, but Doyle's gonna lead them on their way. Rocco's gonna blend himself into second. Lockoff up to fourth place uh, on that Celtic 400 Ninja. So the two guys that these kids got to chase have found the front. Now it's gonna be a matter of just seeing if they can try to stay with them the best they can. Gus Rodeo on the red motorcycle in third position, number 96 from fourth place, second row with a good launch, trying to keep the draft of the top two bikes. Rocco Landers, number one, starts to make his move down into turn number five. This is where the breaking duel happens. They fan out. Dominic Doyle leaves it late, gets it down to the apex, and gets about a bike length over Rocco Landers. And Bangladi slid himself from fifth place out of turn three, and he was able to go down underneath the uh, underneath Sam Lockoff as they went down into turn five. So Glady, a podium finisher from our last round, gets himself up into third, and looks like he's trying to run with these three, these two. Ben Glady, number 72 on the quarterly racing on track development, Kawasaki. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be a determination of if if Rocco feels that he can push the pace and maybe try to go by Dom and try to push it and go a little bit quicker, or, you know, what is exactly happening here? Is there a little bit of cat and mouse where Dom's just kind of controlling the pace? We've seen him go 39-9 this weekend. Uh, that is in, true. In, in, on a couple different uh, uh, sessions. He did it this morning and he did it yesterday as well. So it's just a matter of seeing what's happening here. We can look and see that uh, right now, both these guys have gone quickest in the second and third split. Rocco went quicker in second split split and then we have Dominic quicker in the third so those are race best lap times or sectors if you will so this tap this lap by is going to be a little bit quicker they had what they have Greg that 1.6 on Benjamin that last lap and you can see it's pulled out just a little bit and you're right Rocco's not really entertaining the idea of getting in Dominic's draft right now which tells me he's just kind of sitting there watching and wondering and you know for for the next five laps four laps this is probably what we're going to see 241 ones so Basically identical to the pace they ran before. Yep. Oh. 39 is down, Greg. Uh, unfortunately, the Errol 39. Errol Sullivan. Yeah, Errol Sullivan, who you'd mentioned it had a good qualifying, uh, better than last time. Such a bummer. Yeah, so Sullivan is going to be down, he's down and in turn out of this five, one. Greg. He's down in turn five, and I think Errol was in a, in a, a group. Yeah, you can see he's in, a, he's in a bit of a group. Let's see what happens. And he just kind of gets Contact. into Isaiah Burleson and him, and he hit his head hard, and it looks also like his airbag went off. So that's a good sign. Uh, that his airbag is his airbag deployed. Built into the suit. Yep. Look but at this. They reeled battle. him in. Look at this group. This looks is like, <laughs> this is Junior is it Cup Jack, It looks like Jack Roach is in this group. Uh, obviously, Colstats. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Jack Roach, uh, Lamandry Jr. Wyman. Is he up? There's Cody Wyman. Cody in this Wyman group. on that Yamaha. Yep. Liam Grant, Isaiah Burleson, who I got a chance to meet the other day. He was the young man that we saw fall pretty hard in turn eight, the last round, and so he's involved in all this mess right now. These guys going down the back straightaway. This is the battle for seventh. John Knowles there on the 52. They're fanning out as they head down to turn number five. This is where we saw an incident earlier in the race. On the binders, who's gonna get the position? The 91 sorts itself out. Look at Wyman, Wyman on the 34, around. Westby Racing Yamaha. Last corner now, Al Rocco's kind of setting up a little bit outside, seeing if he can get a run. Dominic Doyle up onto the paint. Rocco Landers into the draft for a moment. He's going side by side. They are going to the checkered flag, and Rocco Landers looks like he had the advantage for the moment. And Rocco Landers is going to, oh, it's a photo finish, and it looks like Dominic Doyle wow. was able to hold on to the lead by wow. six thousandths of a second. Ben Glady does a great job coming home in third place and really trimming that gap down, 11.4 seconds. Uh, now we got this big battle, Greg, coming out of the last corner. All these guys see the 91 of Burleson and Wyman's there. Wyman trying to get out of the draft on that Yamaha. He gets a good one, he takes the spot, but there's so much real estate. Will they get swallowed up? Who's gonna get seventh place? It'll be Cody Wyman, the 34. Wow. Great, great run. Looked like Rocco did everything he could there. I mean, he, he kind of drafted and got up alongside. You can see he's frustrated again. But, uh, man, what did he lose by, Greg? Six thousandths? Six thousandths wow. of a second. So, by the way, as this photo finished, Rocco 
it, the timing looked like it was going to be perfect, but you know, Jay, with these horsepower bikes, a little bit of movement can cause you to go oscillate back and forth. And here it is over the line. Confirmation oh. that Dominic Doyle, the bike on the right, gets it by. <laughs> that's legitimately a quarter wheel. Nothing. I mean, it's nothing. just nothing. That's, that's what six thousandths of a second looks like, as you can see right next to Rocco Lander's name. Benjamin Glotti, like Jason talked about, 11.4 back, and that's closing the gap. And that was a great race. And it's something that the rest of the field is hopeful because Gus Rodeo and Sam Lockhoff also getting closer to the front.